Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on the Get Pivot Data function in Excel. Today, I'll show you how to use this powerful function to extract data from a pivot table efficiently and dynamically. Let's dive right in. To quickly enter a get pivot data function in Excel, simply type an equal sign and click a cell in the pivot table. Excel will automatically generate the get pivot data formula for you. But first, let's see what happens when we don't use this function. Here's an example. I'll select cell C29 and type equal F11 to reference the amount of chairs sold in April. Notice that I'm typing the reference manually without clicking on the pivot table cell. Now let's apply a filter to show only the amounts of office supplies sold in each month. Notice what happens to cell C29. It no longer references the amount of chairs sold in April. Instead, it now shows the amount of labels sold in April. This is where the get pivot data function comes to the rescue. Let's remove the filter and fix this issue. This time, I'll select cell C29, type an equal sign, and click directly on cell F11 in the pivot table. Excel automatically inserts the get pivot data function, as you can see in the formula bar. Now let's apply the filter again to show only the amounts of furniture sold in each month. This time, the get pivot data function correctly returns the amount of chairs sold in April even with the filter applied. That's the beauty of this function. It ensures accuracy by referencing specific data fields in the pivot table. However, the get pivot data function has a limitation. It can only return data that is visible in the pivot table. For example, if I filter the pivot table to show only the amounts of technology sold in each month, the function returns a reference error. This happens because the value for chairs in April is no longer visible in the filtered view. Let's take it a step further and make the get pivot data function dynamic. I'll create a drop down list in C27 to select a product name and another drop down in C28 to select a month number. Then I'll modify the get pivot data function to reference these cells in the field and item arguments. Now, the formula dynamically returns the amount of the selected product sold in the chosen month. This makes the function incredibly flexible and useful for interactive dashboards. The get pivot data function has six arguments. The data field, example, sum of collection, a reference to any cell inside the pivot table, and two field item pairs, example, row labels and chairs, column labels and April. If you remove the month number from the formula, it will return the total sales amount for the selected product across all months. Finally, if you don't want Excel to automatically insert a get pivot data function every time you click a cell in the pivot table, you can turn off this feature. Here's how. Click any cell inside the pivot table. Go to the pivot table analyze tab. Click the drop down arrow next to options and uncheck generate get pivot data. Now when you select pivot any cell from pivot table, Get Pivot Data Formula will not appear automatically. Again, you can enable this function again, selecting the Get Pivot Data function from the Pivot Table Analyze tab. And that's it. The Get Pivot Data function is a powerful tool for extracting and analyzing data from pivot tables. Whether you're working with filters, dropdowns, or dynamic references, this function ensures your data stays accurate and reliable. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.